Hi viewers, finally a video about rendering parts here on the channel. The video came as a response to a request made in the video about the new version of FreeCAD, I mean FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. Well, first I have to say the result I got during all this time was not one of the best because I myself don't have much knowledge of rendering and FreeCAD itself still has limitations even in this trio version. Even so, I'm going to show you how I managed to get the results you saw in the first few seconds of this video here. If you like the channel's content, please consider supporting the channel through the Koi file link available in the video description. I hope you enjoy this video. Before we move on, I would like to make one thing clear about the model's appearance. The current display mode of this document, as you can see, is flat lines. If we change the display to shaded, as you can see, the appearance of the 3D model gets better. And it gets even better if we change the position of the line source and edit preference display line source, as you can see here. These two chains here are perhaps the reason for us in a video about running in the comment section of that video. Now, moving on to how to create a basic render of this model, we must follow these basic steps. The first step is to have a rendering gen installed and configured in FreeCAD. Step 2 is to have a model to render, which in the case of this video is the 3D exercise model from the StatCAD.com website. Step 3, create the rendering. Step 4, save the final image. There are 6 rendering gens available for use in FreeCAD, as you can see in the rendering workbench itself. The one for this video is the Powerline gen, which is easier for me to use. You can download this rendering gen through the links available in the video description. I recommend that you install its editor as well, because if you are someone who understands the rendering, Believe me, you will need it to improve a lot of things that cannot be done in FreeCAD settings. After selling Poveroy, it's time to configure it in FreeCAD. To do that, we need to change the workbench to a render. If you don't have the workbench installed, you can install it in the add-on manager. And so you have it installed in FreeCAD, click on the gear icon and the rendering preference go to Poveroy. Pass the full installation location included in executable and the PowerFry executable perf. After that, apply and OK. This way, the PowerFry rendering gen is configured in FreeCAD. And it's time to go to the step 2. The model we are going to use as example for rendering is a 3D exercise from the StatCAD.com website, as I said before. There is a video on the channel showing you how to model using FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. Before we move to the next step, I recommend that the model you are going to render is a single model, not this one here which is a part design body object with a construction story. Just create a simple copy of it in the part workbench. Now, with our rendering gen configured and a model to render, let's begin the step 3. Let's create a simple render without any complications. So, first of all, we need to be in the render workbench. Then, here, select the rendering gen as PowerRay. It will open a window where we have to choose a template, choose the last template, which is faster in generating images. Open it and automatically Poveray project object is added to the tree view. Select both objects and create a rendering view, click here. As you can see, we now have a reference to the body inside the Poveray project. And that's all for the first rendering. We still need to change the view type to the perspective view and then create a rendering by selecting the project and clicking on render project. 
and here we have the first result as you can see two windows appeared the two windows are from the power software the first window is basically where all code of the running process happens the second window is our desired rendered image close this image window and also the power window and will be taken back to freecad here we have a new window containing the first and final rendered image saved in this location here. The next step is to save this in a different location. To save the rendered image in a different folder, right click and save as and that's it. So these are the basic steps for rendering in FreeCAD. If you want something a little realistic, you can explore the Power manual available in the software itself. What I'm going to show you now is how to get more reality using FreeCAD itself. We are going to use ground plane, materials and texture and the models. Again, it's the basics I'm going to show you. First of all, let's move to the part design workbench. On the part design workbench, create a new body and a new sketch on the XY plane. Select the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle 230 by 175 and 25 millimeters rounded corners. Then close the sketch and extrude it 10 millimeters down using the pad tool. And next, go to the part of paint, select the body object in the tree view and go to part create a simple copy select this option and then delete the created body and also the power project and as you can see now we have two 3d models on the document now name it the model 296 and base so okay let's render these two models now because we deleted the Poveray project, now we need to create it again with the two 3D models included now. So let's move to the render workbench and then create a new render project of Poveray render engine using the last template again. And next, select the three objects on the tree view and create a rendering view. Now let's do some change on the Poveray project. So select the Poveray project and then navigate to the ground plane, make it visible, setting to here. Maintain its color and size factor. Change the Z placement to minus 10 millimeters, the height of the base object and the document. And next go and change the render size, height and width according to your computer screen size. The next step now is to add material to the models. We are going to add materials and the reference models inside the Poveray project. So click in create material to create the first material. And then here choose a car paint material and OK. And let's create another one. Just click here, create material. And here, as you can see, we don't have a render wood material. So let's choose the same material, car paint material as before. Okay, now let's try to add the texture in the last material. To do that, we need to select the last material and then right click on mouse and add texture. And next, expand the last material and we find this new object here, select this texture and then navigate to image, click on the three dots and choose a texture image here from this window and OK. Now we need to make the texture visible. So to do that, just select this last render, click on edit material settings. In the task panel, go to base color and we need to change it to the image texture that we edit and OK. After that, we need to apply each material in the 3D models reference inside the Poveray project. To do that, just select the reference model in the Poveray project and then apply material. And from here, we need to select the first material 
And now for the base model reference, select it and apply the last render material. Now we need to change to perspective view and then adjust the screen before rendering. And after that, we need to select the proper project and render it. As you can see in this image here, our texture in the base model is visible and the simple crop paint material with the texture image is visible in the model 296. We can see in the image a shadow of the model 296. This white plane here is the ground plane which is 10 mm below the base object. Let's close this. It is also possible to change the scale of the texture image. To do that, we just need to select the texture and change the scale in mapping and scale. For example, I'll change to 0.5. And I'll render the project again. And we have this. To save the final image, close the two puff ray windows and and in this window, right click and save as, select the folder and OK. More reality can be achieved handling the render code, which can be found in the .pov file created by the FreeCAD. Thank you for watching this video.